as someone who delivers therapy and also receives therapy, I, I, I can't find any other word than it's magical. They're, they're, it's so healing and empowering. You don't need a diagnosis to seek therapy. In psychotherapy, we look at the symptoms that you're experiencing. We look at the triggers that are happening in your life. Either it's affecting you now, or it's affected you in the past that's affecting you now. And it's important because it affects everything else in your life. I can relate this sense of, well, what? Me? Therapy? Like, I don't need it. I can do this myself or I'm doing all right. I think that's a very common thing for people to feel. When we're dealing with stuff, to be alone in it is, it's, that's what creates the suffering. So by having a person with them, really like understanding what it is that they're experiencing in their body, in their minds, in their relationships, in the present moment. You would take the lead. You would do, you're the one doing the work. I'm simply here to offer support, offer another human being to be here with you while you do that work, offer you some connection. It's much more of a precursor to, I would say, goal setting, because it's more about identifying your wants, your needs, your feelings, your thought patterns, and getting to know a whole different part of yourself that you might have not have explored before. You have really nothing to lose from just spending 20 minutes talking to a therapist and seeing if it feels like something that could be helpful for you. There are always going to be people out there who have judgments about the important things, the things that can help us in our life. So setting those people aside for a moment and pursuing what's actually really important for your well-being. I think that's like an important thing that everybody needs to learn.